Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. In this video and series, I am going to do, uh, you know, start color this uh, color along again. Uh, I've missed it and, you know, I've, I've had, you know, busy week and busy time at work and, you know, this break thing. So, yeah, I'm back at my holiday home and uh, as you can hear, the cockerel is uh, crowing and you can hear, you know, a lot of background noises, maybe the dogs or the birds, right? So just bear with it, ignore it <laughs> because I can't, I can't change the background noise. Um, yeah, so this book, I'm going to colour in this book, Mind Furling Spice Cigar. Uh, if you di translate directly to English, it's My uh, Spring Walk by Rita Berman. Okay, so My Furling Spice Cigar. I'm going to put this aside. This is my first copy and this is my second copy. So I've chosen this, I've, uh, you know, chosen this page in my plan with me. Uh, my books that, or pages that I'm going to colour in this February video. Yeah, so I thought I would do this. This is a nice picture to do. This nice page to do. We'll see how, how uh, much you can uh, get on. So I'm going to zoom you in. Stop babbling. And happy listening to the birds in the background and the cockerel and dogs. Sorry. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't wake up any earlier. It's uh, 4 a.m. and they are at it. Right, so sorry. I'm going to use uh, um, apple green for this leaf, yeah. I'm going to use a lot of, uh, you know, this apple green, um, chartreuse, uh, things like that. This green colors. This is, these are my few, you know, go-to favorite uh, color pencils. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to use chartreuse. So if you've seen my, you know, previous videos, you know that uh, my go-to pencils, my colors for leaves and all are usually chartreuse. Um, apple green, a spring green, yeah, things like that. So this is the first layer. I'm going to color in with uh, spring green for these other leaves here. You know, we'll touch up later. Yes, it's recording. Being back at this uh, holiday home is very nice. It's just that, um, you know, there are big windows and lots of big windows uh, and the sound, we, we, we do not have double glazing windows in Malaysia, so uh, sound just passes through everything, um, you know, and you can hear everything very clearly. So, yeah. So this is uh, a spring green. So this is just the base layer for the, for the, you know, um, leaves. And this is like, uh, the, what do you call? Mm, that lucky, luck, lucky, you know, lucky leaf at uh, that for clover. So I've not been, you know, um, filming and colouring. Oh, I had this terrible uh, allergy, so, you know, my eyes is all sore and itchy. My eyes. So I can't, you know, concentrate. Like, you know, I get very drowsy and sleepy after taking the antihistamine. Yeah. It's terrible when you, you know, are allergic to everything and anything and everything, but you don't even know what you're allergic to. I've tried, you know, but 
the uh, are doing tests and all, but it came out inconclusive. So, yeah, it could be also stress due to stress. So. So this one here. Now I'm gonna uh, color in with the olive uh, green. Olive green, yeah. And just blend it in with apple green. I don't mind the birds. The birds are very, you know, they make it, it it, it just brings so much happiness, like, you know, cheerful, that's just so cheerful, it cheers everything up. The birds are alright, <laughs> not the cockerel. But oh well. Dark green. So just play around with the you know the greens it's all right you, you don't have to be exact just play around with the greens you know just give a bit of a sh uh, you know sh drop shadow uh, behind you know things like that and be fine don't have to fuss around i like to color you know organic things like this because there's no right or wrong I can do whatever i like so can you Olive green. So this is uh, spring green. You know, just, you just add uh, colors on top of each other. Just blend it till you are happy with it. I do not pre-plan pre my colorings. I just, you know, color, I mean, just add colors as I go along. Now, um, this part here, Shall I use Kelly Green? Let's try. Yeah, it's all right. So this is Kelly Green for these leaves. Just a light layer. This part here, I will color in spring green. You know, the bottom of the flower. And let, let's see, I am going to use kelp green. Mm, no, not kelp green, dark green. Dark green.
You can also find this picture in her compilation book. Yeah, so you don't have to necessarily just have this spring book. But it's nice to have the spring book. There are lots of pictures in it that, you know, it's nice to colour in. Then I'm going to blend everything in again with uh, spring green. Uh, so you just blend everything in spring green. I have not seen any gibbons this time around. <laughs> Maybe because I did not go out of the house to go look for them. They are around. They are definitely around. <laughs> now, for this flower, let me think. Um, what color? Uh, hmm. Yellow. With my, um, let's see, sunburst yellow. Yes. And I'm going to colour the base with uh, lemon yellow. No, where's my canary yellow? I've got my canary yellow. I love my canary yellow. Such a, you know, a versatile yellow. I'm going to colour the base with uh, canary yellow first. 11 minutes in. I'll stop at... Uh, 30 minutes mark. You know, I do not want my videos to be, you know, so long. Um, yeah, or maybe I'm, I'll do like, you know, two clips of it. Not sure. Let's see how it goes and see how much we can do in 30 minutes. Because not everyone can sit for longer than 30 minutes, um, you know, watching video. Yellow, orange. If I'm on holiday or, I'm, you know, during the weekends, then yes. But on normal days when I'm, you know, at work, uh, there's so many other videos to catch up. So it's only fair that, um, you know, I watch... Um, shorter videos that I can get more videos in in the same amount of time yeah so probably leave all the sketching up videos to catch up on the weekends or holidays or these breaks yeah it's this I like this uh, flower it's you know it's, it's very cheerful and I am going to, you know, blend everything in with lemon yellow, which I just pulled out from the box. <laughs> I couldn't find my lemon yellow. So this is my, actually my spare pencil from the box, which I carried luck all the way <laughs> in, my, in my car. It's always good to have more pencils. Mm. Yes, so I think I like my flower. It looks very good. Um... Yeah, this one here, hmm, let me see. Or shall we do this one? This one, uh, let's see, pink, 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 yeah, pink. So I am going to color. I, I always, uh, you know, see this flower as mom's a chrysanthemum. So this one would be yellow. So since we have done yellow here, I'll do a, hmm, Pink one, yeah. Pink one, yeah. Pink, yeah. Pink, yes. Pink. <laughs> just a just a very light layer. Pink and yellow, pink and orange. Well, it's it's uh, nice to get away from, you know, the big city, uh, for this uh, festival thing. You know, I, I don't really like noise, loud noises, so, you know, they would have firecrackers and all the things, fireworks, uh, you know, so it's nice to get away to my holiday home.
So this is pink. This is this light layer. I am going to go in with uh, carmine red. Uh, carmine red. Carmine red has a little bit of pink in it. Yeah, and I will also color it in with uh, process red because I, you know, I truly love this this color. It's a very special color, process red. And it's very difficult to find it. To find the same. Um, color in other sets it's just a uh, special to prisma color pencils and i think i snapped uh, the pencil by dropping it how wonderful not yeah so it's processed red carmine red and pink And let me see, do I have deco pink around? No, uh, hot pink. Just play around with your colors, hot pink. Uh, maybe I will go in with um, mm, pale vermilion. Bit, a bit of an orange hue. Yep. Right, so this one here, I am going to color in orange. Yeah. So I'm going to use pale vermilion as base. Very, very lightly. going to use sunburst oh this is yellow orange it's okay fine <laughs> just going to color it in and mix the color i thought it was sunburst orange it looks a bit like that but anyway it's good yeah that and yeah i'm gonna add um this uh, poppy red Poppy red, yes, at the bottom here. This is also going to be red. You know, live. I live so close to the seaside, and I've not been to the seaside yet since uh, I've been back to this place, I might, you know, go to the seaside, um, maybe today or tomorrow, and probably just sit there and color a little bit under the tree and I'm gonna film it. It depends on the, the weather and traffic and everything else. Right. Uh, and I'm gonna, you know, blend it in with, um, this blender pencil it's not um, doing very well good that color mm, I'm gonna just leave it I'm gonna use sunburst yellow I like sunburst yellow see yeah a little bit of sunburst yellow in here uh, and uh, let me see canary yellow this uh, filament thing here yeah and the berries um, for this one here I'm gonna use scarlet lake mm, maybe 
zoom you out a little bit here. Scarlet leg. Press it a little bit harder, and I am going to add in uh, pomegranate. Pomegranate. There's a there's a bird outside my window now. Just gonna leave this part white. Yeah, there we go. And this leaves here um, kelp green. There's a pair of birds now out there. I don't know what birds they are. They're making a lot of noise. <laughs> and I'm going to use uh, chartreuse for the inside part here. Then it is all in with uh, apple green. Give it a little bit of uh, apple, uh, more of a greenish hue. And this flower here, mm, shall we do red? We go with pomegranate, pomegranate red flower. These are some rescue red, maroonish red. Why not? Sometimes you take for just things for granted. You know, you live so close to some place and you, you, you just don't go to that place. I live so close to the sea, it's like two minutes away. It's just that, you know, I don't go there. I obviously could if I want to. Well, we shall see tomorrow. This is um, spring green. Where's my dark green? Yeah. Now we are on 25 minutes. Um, this one here, mm, since I have used a uh, pomegranate, it's a bit of a, I'm gonna use crimson lake.
and I'm going to use um, carmine red just to give it a brighten it up a bit here. Um, pomegranate, poppy red, sorry, to blend everything in. So there's so many reds in here. Just play with every, all the reds you have, Crimson Lake. And um, raspberry. Now for these berries here, I'm going to use a uh, very, very bright uh, red, so poppy red. Yeah, so that it will stand out and I'm going to just leave the sides here a bit of white. I could do with, um, you know, blackberries. Now I'm just going to carry on with red. See, so you leave this red here, uh, white spots here, so that, you know, it stands out. Maybe I'll add a bit of a purple or brown to the flower behind to show a bit of contrast. Oh yeah, and I've uh, touched my um, my Fitbit is on charge, so there's no Fitbit around. Twenty-eight minutes in. And I'm going to use raspberry for, you know, the darker parts of, darker shades of uh, berry. But still leaving the white uh, space here. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to use uh, canary yellow for this middle part here. And uh, I don't know, I just, you know, fancy doing a uh, yellow for this mom. It looks like mom's. So I'm using canary yellow. Chrysanthemum. Yep, and uh, we'll 
give it a little bit of a you know shadowy effect with a um, yellowed orange then blend it all in with um, yellow chartreuse Yeah, and this berry syrup, I thought I would, you know, um, color in like, um, you know, whitish sort of uh, berries. So I'm going to just lightly color in yellow chartreuse. Right, um, and chartreuse, bottom part here. Yeah, hope you can see that. Mm, yes. So I'm going to use uh, Persian, uh, Persian green for this leaf here. It's of a you know darker sort of um, green, very very lightly. So you have a combination of different greens in this just tiny section here. Yep. So I'm going to, you know, just uh, blend it in with apple green. See, I'm, I get a different green all together now and this dark green yes dark green Yeah, so now, the, oh, I've left a little bit of uh, uh, this part here. So this is chartreuse and apple green. Yep, so the background I am going to color in with uh, pale sage. It's just there's a lot of debris and dust. Um, Wrong. I'm going to use pale sage. Uh, yeah, now I 
can see can see the whole thing and you know i might not uh, show you the whole thing i might just come back and um finish it off in another clip i was i'll bore you all to death <laughs> i do not want to do that and maybe this part here uh, I would add a bit of a uh, Kelly Green, which I like to do. Kelly Green. And, you know, I just like to, you know, do like circles, things like that. Um, Kelly Green. Fade out. Like what I do for these... Um, Advent calendar in Rita's book. And that was my stomach. <laughs> you might hear that. It's asking for breakfast. <laughs> it says, feed me, feed me, I'm hungry. <laughs> I might go cook some porridge later. Yeah, so this part is sage here, so I am going to colour in darker. Uh, it's Kelly Green. Let's see, that's my stomach, if you can hear that. <laughs> it's very loud. <laughs> right, so calm down stomach. I'll feed you later. Yeah, things like that. So I am going to continue uh, colouring in the background of camera and I'll come back and finish it off with you. So see you in the next clip. Right, I'm back. Uh, I've done this uh, background just, you know, using uh, pale sage. You know, as usual, this pencil is like, you know, it just cracks everywhere. But it doesn't matter. It does not affect the core. That's the main thing. It's fine. So I'm going to use a little bit of, uh, you know, chartreuse here and there. Just to give it a little bit of a light. Yeah, chartreuse here and there. Chartreuse just brightens everything up. Uh, yeah, random. Random spots. And, you know, uh, also... This apple green. Thing with the chartreuse behind. Yeah, things like that. Just, you know, random. Um, yeah, so um, let me see. Just finish touching up things. I might touch up uh, more off camera, but uh, this is how it is. You know, you can do it quite relatively quite quick. One morning, one, an hour or so. Yeah. So one page would probably take you about four or five hours. It's, that's quite fair enough. You know, it's quite, it's uh, quite good. You know, I like pictures like that so that, you know, I don't have to sit a long time and to crack my head and to, you know, <laughs> it stresses me out more. Whereas if I do pictures like this, you know, it's fun. Yeah, and you get more colouring done. It's all in the head, it's all in the head. It's all in the head. Yep, so there we have it. This is my uh, first part of this page. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have liked the video, please do give me a cheeky thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, I hope you will do if you like this video for, uh, for subscribe for more videos like this. 
So thanks for watching. Till then, take care and happy coloring. Bye.